Okay, so in here we have an introduction. We have about sanity tools, payments, cursed possessions, gathering evidence. Okay. Uh, okay, ghosts are spirits formed from violent or sudden death and can haunt locations for over a thousand years. They feed on people's fear. Evidence of paranormal activity is high in demand, but acquiring evidence is an extremely dangerous task. It's your job to enter haunted location and gather as much paranormal evidence as possible. Don't outstay your welcome and get out as soon as you're finished. In order to discover what type of ghost you're dealing with, you will have to learn each ghost's strengths and weaknesses. Yes, this is really what I need to know. This guide will help you understand what you need to do to survive. Okay, we have the sanity. During paranormal investigation, you will need to maintain your sanity. Stand in lit areas, avoid looking at paranormal entities, and be time efficient. All ghost types prey on weaker minds, so make sure you're careful. You'll have a few minutes at the start of each investigation before your sanity starts to lower faster. Use this time to find the ghost, comma, set up your equipment and get as much evidence as possible. If your sanity becomes too low, we recommend you leave. And we also have these tools. We have smudging. Certain herbs and natural materials cause ghosts to become weaker. You can use this to your advantage. Just grab some incense and burn them near the ghost. Digital camera. Try to fill the journal with photographs of paranormal activities such as doors opening, light switches flicking, UV evidence, or most importantly, a photo of the ghost itself. Taking good photos will reward you with more money at the end of the contract. Tracking movements. You can use sensors, sound and salt to track where the ghost is moving. Creating an optical surveillance area is key to keeping track of the ghost's location. Payment. Investigation bonus. Make sure to complete the main objective of finding the ghost type as this will give you double rewards for optional objectives as well as a small sum of extra money on top perfect investigation bonus if you complete the above all side objectives and fill the journey with three star photos you will receive an even larger reward reward multipliers after your rewards have been totaled they will be multiplied by your difficulty multiplier the harder the difficulty the higher the multiplier Cursed possessions. You will always find a cursed possession during each contract. Okay. Oh, that's the things. Okay. Each item has been reported to have paranormal abilities that can help you investigate. Be warned, using these items will lower your sanity. Make sure you are sane enough, otherwise they may break and initiate an attack from the ghost. So we have the Vija board. These commonly found wooden boards can be used to communicate with ghosts. If you find one, activate it by placing down a plank. A planquette, a heart-shaped wooden slate, and use your voice to ask a question. Certain questions may lower your sanity more than others and make sure you say goodbye when you're finished to close the connection with the ghost. And we have a haunted mirror, I've never seen that. Uh, if you find this oval shaped mirror lying around, you can use it to find the room where the ghost is commonly found. Pick it up and activate it to peer into the spectral realm. Careful, seeing into this realm will drain your sanity rapidly. And then we have the voodoo doll. This eerie, cute... No, no, not really. Uh, dolls are known for causing harm to others. Picking one up and activate it will force the ghost to interact with the environment. Pins are sh chosen at random, and certain pins seems to affect you more than it affects the ghost. Okay, I've seen the doll, but I don't know. Is there pins in it? I don't know what does it mean when pins are chosen at random. I'm not sure about that. Uh, a summoning circle. Some locations have pentagons drawn in blood surrounded by blood red candles. 
Lighting all five candles will summon the ghost and trap it temporarily. Perfect for taking photos. Make sure you escape before the ghost breaks free. This intricate little music box has been created with the sole purpose of communicating with the dead. Holding the box and activating it starts playing a spectral song. If you listen closely, the ghost can sometimes be heard singing along with the haunted melody. Don't get too close, you may interrupt its musical trance and anger it. Tarot cards. These musical cards are the most intriguing item we found during previous investigation. Each deck contains 10 random cards that have different paranormal properties. When draw, they can trigger different effects on the team on any near and on any nearby ghost. Whilst they can be used where they can also have negative effects such as sanity drain, ghost attacks and even death. Many of these cards are still yet to be discovered. Who knows what's possible? And then we have the monkey part. Monkey paw. This mummified monkey paw seems to grant a number of wishes depending on how many fingers are lifted when it's found. It seems to be unique compared to the other curse possession we found in that each wish had different consequences. Will you tamper with fate and change your future? But I don't know, how do you make a wish? I have no idea. Okay, so here's the gathering evidence. Uh, I think we have that covered. Okay, so here's the case. So you can... Okay, so... Okay, so you can find here the name of the ghost and what it responds to. We find keys, optional objectives. Oh, okay, so those... Also here, ID, start filming ghost interactions, more photo evidence, buy new equipment, sound recorder for paranormal sounds, new outfits, uh, why? Okay, and there we have the photos, and here comes this, the heart, the heart thing. And so we have 24 ghosts. Spirits, spirits are very, are very common ghosts. They are very powerful, but passive only attacking when they need to they defend their place of death to the utmost degree killing anyone is caught overstaying their welcome okay weakness a spirit can be temporarily stopped by burning incense near them mm -hmm. so you have to know that before wraiths wraiths are one of the most dangerous ghosts you will find is it it is only the only known ghost that has the ability of flight and has sometimes been known to travel through walls wraith almost never touched the ground where meaning it can be tracked by footprints weakness wraith are afraid of salt and will actively avoid it well of course but since it's flying okay that that was a bit weird weakness a phantom a phantom is a ghost that can possess the living inducing fear into those around it they are most commonly summoned from Ouija boards. Strength. Looking at the phantom will drop your sanity considerably faster. Weakness. Taking a photo of the phantom will make it temporarily disappear. Okay, so you can watch it through your camera, maybe? Do I have the poltergeist? One of the most famous ghosts. The poltergeist. Known to manipulate, manipulate objects around it to spread fear into its victims. Strength. Poltergeists can throw multiple objects at once with great force. Weakness. With nothing to throw, <laughs> poltergeists can become powerless or so just take great stuff. <laughs> okay. I didn't look at the evidence because I'm not gonna remember it anyway. Banshee, the singing siren known for attracting its victims through song. It has been known to single out its prey before making a killing blow. Strength, Banshee will weaken their target before striking. Okay. Weakness, Banshees can sometimes be heard screaming with parabolic microphone. Is that a weakness? It's just that it's easier to recognize them. I should make notes. But I guess the notes is in here. But how can I remember it? Jin or Jim, as we know. <laughs> A territorial ghost that will attack when threatened. It has also been known to be able to travel at significant, significant speed. Strength. A Jin will travel at a faster speed if its victim is far away. Weakness. Turning off the location's power source will prevent the, the djinn from using its ability. So this is a bit of a paradox. Because you want to be in the light, but if you're dealing with the djinn, you need to turn off. Well, I guess only in the 
We go straight on turning off the locations part. I don't know. Let's do the fuse box and just get out of there. And then we have the mare. A mare is a source of all nightmares, making it powerful in the dark. Strength. A mare will have increased chance to attack in the dark. Weakness. Turning the lights on around the mare will lower its chance to attack. A revenant is a violent ghost that will, will attacking indiscriminately. Their speed can be, de be deceiving as they are slow while dormant. However, as soon as they hunt, they can move incredibly fast. Strength. A revenant will traverse significantly faster speed when hunting their prey. Weakness. Hiding from the revenant will cause it to move very slowly. A shade is known to be very shy. There is evidence to suggest that a shade will stop all paranormal activity if there are people nearby. Strength. Shades are, shades are much harder to find. Okay. Weakness. The ghost will not enter a hunt if there are people nearby. Demons are the most aggressive ghosts where we've ever encountered. Known to attack without reason, they seem to enjoy the thrill of the hunt. Demons will initiate hunts more often than the ghost. Weakness, demons fear the crucifix and will be less aggressive near one. And then we have the Yurei. A Yurei is a ghost that has returned to the physical world, usually for the purpose of revenge or hatred. Strength. Euros have been known to have a stronger effect on people's sanity. Weakness. Smudging. The Euros place of death will trap it temporarily, reducing how much it wanders. Okay. It feels like you need you need to know. Well, I know I know friends who are using this knowledge to figure out what the ghosts are, but I feel it's more useful to get the evidence and then like make a plan after what type of ghost it is so we, we need the objectional then we can use it use this this is how i'm thinking but i don't know and we have an oni onis love to scare their victims as much as possible before attacking they are often seen in their physical form guarding their place of death okay strength Onis are much more active whilst people are nearby and will drain their sanity fast when manifesting. Weakness. Only disappears less often while hunting their prey. What do you mean? Is that a weakness? I don't know. Is it a weakness if you want to take a picture of it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yokai are c a common ghost that are attracted to human voices. They can usually be found haunting family homes. Strengths. Talking near a yokai will anger it increasing the chance of attack weakness when hunting a yokai can only hear voices close to it hantu a hantu is a rare ghost that thrives in the coldest climates the cold seem to make uh, them more aggressive and empowered strength lower temperature allow the hunter to move faster speeds hunters move slower in warmer areas okay so can we turn the heat somehow or just don't be in the ghost room too much i don't know Gor gorjo gorio gorio when a gorio passes through a dot projector using a video camera is the only way to see it okay strength a gorio will usually only show itself on camera if there are no people nearby weakness they are rarely seen far from their place of death okay so they usually one place okay a meaning a meaning is a very vocal and active ghost they are rumored to be quiet when hunting their prey a meaning is known to be quieter when hunting weakness meanings are more frequently make paranormal sounds so they make a lot of sounds while not hunting and then 
when they are hunting they are quiet okay an onryo uh, the onryo is often referred to the wrathful spirit it steals souls from dying victims bodies to seek revenge this ghost has been known to fear any form of fire and will do anything to be far from it strength extinguish a flame can cause an extinguishing a flame can cause an onryo to attack if we do it or if does it? I'm not sure. When threatening, these ghosts will be less likely to hunt the twins. These ghosts have been reported to mimic each other's actions. They alternate their attack to confuse their prey. Strength. Either twin can be angered and initiate an attack on their prey. Weakness. The twins will often interact with the environment at the same time. So if two people get attacked at the same time, we know it's the twins, basically. The Rajo. A Rajo is a demon that thrives on electrical current. While generally calm, they can become agitated when overwhelmed with power. A Rajo can siphon power from nearby electrical devices, making it move faster. Weakness. A Rajo is constantly disrupting electrical equipment when attacking, making it easier to track. Okay. Obake. Obake? Obake is a terrifying shapeshifters. Or terrifying shapeshifters. Capable of taking on many forms they have been taken on humanoid shapes to attract the prey when interacting with their environment an obit will re rarely leave a trace okay sometimes this ghost will shape shift leaving behind unique evidence i'm not sure what that means the mimic the mimic is an elusive mysterious copycat ghost that mirrors traits and behaviors from others including their ghost types we are unsure what this ghost is capable of be careful several reports have noted ghost dog sightings near mimics okay so that that's like the, that's the false the false evidence so if you have four evidence we know it's the mimic but that's so hard mm -hmm. a moroi morois have risen from the grave to drain energy from the living they have been known to place curses on their victims, curable only by antidotes or moving very far away. Antidotes, is that like the, the sanity medicine? I don't know. The weaker their, victi the weaker their victims, the stronger the moral it becomes. becomes. Moral suffer from hyperosmia, weakening them from longer periods. I'm not sure what hyperosmia is. I need to look that up. Diogen. This is the, well, the most recently um, added ghost. Diogen and the Say. Uh, Diogen. Sometimes surrounded by an endless fog. Diogen have been looting ghost hunters for years. These ghosts have been reported to find even the most hidden prey before stalking them into exhaustion. 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 Strength. The agent constantly sends the living. You can run, but you can't hide. Damn it. The agent requires a lot of energy to form and will move very slowly when approaching its victims. Okay, so just run. They. Uh, they have been known to rapidly age over time, even in the afterlife, from what we learned. They seem to deteriorate faster while within the presence of the living. Strength. Upon entering the location, they will become active, defensive, and agile. Weakness. They will weaken over time, making them weaker, slower, and less aggressive. Okay, that was it.